Okay, so I am going to show you guys my workflow process for editing. And I have recently started using Bridge uh, for the last few months instead of Lightroom. And so um, what I do is I click on Bridge and it shows me everything that I have. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a couple that I want to edit. So, um, the one that I want to edit with you guys right now is this one. So, I'm going to command R to open in um, ACR, which is Adobe Camera Raw. Okay, so it's opened up for me. And what I am looking for is the exposure. I just want to make sure none of my highlights are blown out which they are a little bit, so I'm just gonna bring it down a touch. And um, my histogram looks good. And so now I'm going to open in Photoshop. So I'm going to click open. And it opens right into Photoshop. Okay. So there are a few different actions that I love using. Um, for skin retouching, I love to use um, Totally Rad's Pro Retouch. So I'm gonna just click on Foundation Light. And while it's loading, uh, a lot of people like to use their plugins for um, skin retouching and everything, but I like to just stick with affordability and Totally Rad's actions are super affordable and they're really, really good. Okay, so I've got my mask on black, which means that I am going to choose my brush and I'm going to paint it on and the brush has to be white has to be on white now sometimes you might see like that the uh, the color doesn't show so I'm just gonna go to workspace window workspace essentials and then it's down here you see it right down here at the bottom and if you wanted to erase what you just drew on, you press the X and it changes the color. See, X changes it from black to white. So white paints on, black removes on your mask. Okay, so it looks good. So I'm going to flatten it. And now I am going to see my actions here. And I'm going to click on Deblotch Medium. This is amazing because they developed an action that still shows you the texture of the skin um, with um, frequency separation. It is amazing and it's probably the best action I've ever been recommended buying. I wish I had bought it a lot, long time ago. Okie dokie. So um, I have this still on 100% and this just is just amazing, like literally amazing. So you want to make sure that you don't go over the eyelashes or any kind of details like the lips. Um, I accidentally did the nose a little bit so I just pressed X, turned it to black and I'm just gonna Bring that back a little bit. And you got to be careful with the frequency separation when you're going on the shadow side because it will, um, it kind of messes with your highlights and your shadows. Okay, so I'm going to flatten it again. And uh, now I'm going to remove the red from his chin and from his face. So another person's actions that I love to use is Aaron Tolls and it's my definitely my go-to action set. So red remover. And 
and um, you don't want to have this at 100%. So press enter and it will change the opacity on your brush and type in 30, press enter again and you're going to just, oh, make sure you press X to make sure the brush is on white and just kind of get rid of the redness in his face and down here on his chin it is really red. Okay, I'm just going to make it bigger. So I'm pressing command with the plus sign. And I'm going to press enter and make it 100% because his chin is just so bad. And I'm going to press it, enter again and put it at 60%. And um, pretty bad in some areas and then I'm going to enter again and press 40%. Okay. I'm going to make the brush bigger. Do that. Okay. Isn't that unreal? See, I'm going to... Isn't that unbelievable? You don't want it looking green either, so sometimes when you take out reds, you add green with a lot of action. So I'm just going to bring the opacity down to like, of the whole action, to like 90%. And then it'll still bring out the natural skin tones. Okay, so now I'm going to flatten. And I am going to um, show you the most amazing one-click wonders from Angie. Knatsen photography, her act, her uh, actions and her presets are unbelievable. And uh, anyways, on this little baby, I'm using this one, Tourmaline. And oh, I just love it. Look at how beautiful it is against the gray. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to flatten that and I'm going to sharpen the eyes. Now, I'll show you a trick and this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to press Command J and that's going to duplicate my background layer to make another layer. And I'm going to go to Filter, Camera Raw. Well, this is the great thing about using Bridge and Camera Raw is that you can go back and forth between the two and it is unreal so fast and it's just super awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my sharpening and I'm gonna bring my sharpening up a bit and I wanna see how sharp it is. So I'm gonna hold down my Alt key or Option or Alt key and I'm gonna hold it down while I bring this up and it's gonna show you where the sharpness is really gonna focus on. And I'm, I'm masking out the skin. So it's really, so hold the Alt key when you press it down and it's really only on the edges and that's exactly what I want. And I'm just gonna bring my blacks down a little bit and my contrast and my shadows down a little bit. And that looks good to me. So I'm gonna press okay. And so now it's been sharpened a little bit and darkened a little bit. And to me, um, I do have a couple little things to remove. He really did have pretty good skin other than the discoloration. So I'm going to press Command J for duplicating my layer. I'm going to do my spot retouching and I'm just going to um, click on the spots that need it. I'm just going to get rid of the little hair here. Sometimes it works really good and sometimes it, it flaws. So in that case, I'm going to use my patch tool and I'm just going to fix that one spot. And press Command D to deselect it. And I'm just going to finish up. Computer's being a little bit slow. Okay. Oh, 
and we'll keep the P. And to me, I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm not going to make this completely perfect because I don't want my pictures looking plastic. So I do leave some of the imperfections, but for the most part, I don't want anything that's going to distract from the overall image. And to me, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to flatten it. And then I'm going to save it. Render Ezra Edit. JPEG, make sure it's color and embedded with sRGB. And save it. Make sure your file size is maximum. And we are good. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and um, I'm going to try to bring a lot more of these videos to you guys. And feel free to leave questions and I will do my best to answer them.